it's called the shoulder shoulder break kind of you know in yeah, in, yeah, in I France mean, yeah, we yeah. call it the the hands to the shoulder position like the safe position hands to the shoulder which is yeah it used to be know. true yeah it, I mean it, maybe it used to I don't know but it's back butch. in the day so I hear yeah. I'm not that old of a pilot yeah, I don't know <laughs> what do you think about flying with your brake toggles at your shoulder level constantly as a mm. safety position so I I have a funny story about that actually uh, in 2018 when I wanted to create the stall to infinite what I did was go to SIV videos from various people and students and stuff and I watched them intensely because I a lot of students ends up doing a one turn tumble after a stall because of a mistake this happens like twice a year thrice a year in SIVs and the thing I noticed was that most of the time it was because the student kept a small amount of break to the shoulder or 10% or 5% and the glider was shooting quite a lot. So then I interested myself into the theory of it and there is a clear explanation with the center of pressure, the instability of our reflex airfoils. But what happened is that to invent the stall to infinite, I kind of copied this technique in order to increase the shoot of my glider. I kept a little amount of brake to make the shoot harder. And this was kind of a mistake that I saw pilot doing in order to increase the shooting of my glider and that's how I did the stall to infinite. So I have a strong uh, feeling against the shoulder position because I know firsthand that it does not solve problem, it creates them. In my case it created more shoot and a nice maneuver but in most of the people case it just creates more shoot and a more solid glider to go further and to shoot uh, deeper. So, and to fall into your canopy. So that is in a sketchy moment. So the hands to the shoulder when you are in trouble uh, is not working at all. It's usually even way worse. And I, I think that in my opinion, the best position is to have a contact on the glider, but contact to the glider for most people is putting a lot of brake while in reality it's just putting pressure on your training gauge just to feel what's going on. And taking I, out the slack of yeah, the line exactly. and not bending exactly the you you just put the weight of your of your hand on the toggles and that is i think the best uh position because if you have 10 percent break a lot of things you're not gonna feel uh, a lot of uh, turbulences are gonna just pass by and you're not gonna feel them and the bigger one you are not gonna be able to react to them because you also lose a lot of break range you lose a lot of uh, feeling and a lot of uh, information so i'm not really for the shoulder position, but also it's common now, most, most instructors will vote against the shoulder position as a safety position. It really moved to this area where contact this era waits. Yeah, hands up, not, contact position. Yeah, hands up and contact position are the way to go. Another thing I've noticed on takeoffs is that people, <coughs> when they get into harnesses, they'll take the uh, two toggles yeah. in one hand to fiddle with their harnesses and that, creates the same issue on uh, uh, well, <laughs> right after take yeah, yeah. the thermals are triggering. The, the funny thing is that in this moment what you want is the least worse uh, thing you know kind of it's like either you release both your brakes straight after launch to sit yourself and then it, you are in a terrible position because if you get the collapse you fact or you release just one hand and sit yourself which is not so good the third option being, in my opinion, taking both brakes in your hand. And that's what I do, mm -hmm. but for a short amount of time. I don't keep it for like an hour or so, you know. It's mm -hmm. just like two seconds time to sit myself up or to pick up my footrest and then I'm sitting comfortably. But then you choose the worst as the least worst uh, flying position in that specific moment, mm -hmm. which is that, yeah. I think.